Let's do a quick little 10 minute video, like a little, a little something short and sweet. It's not necessarily crime time, but it is embarrassing. Have you guys seen this video? It comes from a creator named Patrick CC. Patrick CC is dope. He makes really great videos. It was so interesting to me that I was like, I have to show stream this because it's pretty unreal. <laughs> so this video is called Rapper Fakes Cancer for a Fashion Nova sponsorship. And let me just say, this video is unreal. It gets pretty wild. Patrick covers everything in about eight minutes. Y'all just gotta watch this. Have y'all been in the hospital for five weeks? And I think his name died, is Kid Trunks. Wait, one in the chat, if you've ever heard of this guy before, one in the chat, if you've heard of Kid Trunks, two in the chat, if you're like, I don't know who that is at all. <laughs> yeah, somebody's, I told y'all, this is embarrassing. This is, okay, so we don't know who Kid Trunks is. Bro, I just saw so many first time chatters come out and just hit the two. I do, I do not know him. I was watching Juice's documentary. I seen him snort the perk, and then I was like, let me try it. I did that. I overdosed. Uh, I, they, the studio called the ambulance. They found out I had COVID. And then they found out I had pneumonia. And then they found out I had C word. I told y'all the story. Let me get 100K likes, please. Stop! Can I get 100K likes? Stop! I told y'all the story. Stop! Can I get 100K likes? Imagine. Coming out like with your cancer diagnosis by being like, I went to the hospital after I watched a documentary and I smoked, a, I snorted a perk. And don't do that, by the way. Don't do drugs. I'm dead serious. It is the worst thing that you can ever do to a person. Stay off the pills. Because drugs can kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Please. I want to crawl into a hole. I want to drill a hole into my floor and I want to crawl into it. Please. 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 Kid Trunks is mostly Please. known in the rap world as an original member to the late XXXTentacion's rap group members only. Sadly, when X passed away in the summer of 2018, the group had a tough time maintaining their relevance, and the members' solo careers weren't thriving. In the beginning of 2022, Kid Trunks posted a suspicious picture insinuating that he may have passed away, with the caption LLT and LLJ, which would stand for Long Live Trunks and Long Live Ja. Stop! His first act was to vaguely fake his own death. Say the line, Bows. I'm throwing up, I'm peeing, I'm crying right now. Yeah! Apparently his account was hacked and the hackers posted this suspicious photo. Shortly after the photo was deleted, he announced to his half a million followers via an Instagram story that he quote, caught COVID-19. Where is your secondhand embarrassment at right now on a scale of one to 10? I'm a hard nine and we're only one minute into the video. It actually gets worse. Seven, eight, nine, 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. <laughs> my account was hacked. I wanted to keep silence about my situation, but I'll explain to you guys later today. I was near death, but I didn't die. They found out I had pneumonia cancer, AKA chest cancer, like lung cancer. Is chest cancer a thing? Then there was a GoFundMe donation page that was no! deleted. He experienced Kid Trunks' cancer was magically cured in two weeks. 15 days after the original Instagram story, he would post this. Cured. Thanks to all the two doctors who every... took care of me for seven. Stop. Cured. Period. God, this gets so much worse. Seven weeks straight in the ICU. They told me I had a 2% chance of making it, but I did. And most importantly, all my fans who held my spirits up and prayers in your mind. If you're ready for a novel, album, and full story, comment cancer because we destroy it p.s nova men kept me fresh while in the icu appreciate to my family over at fashion nova did he just say that fashion nova kept him fresh while in the intensive care unit fashion nova has so many influencers and they, they kind of have a commission-based influencer program so i don't think that they have to review the captions at all i think he just had like an obligation to post and nobody knew what the topic was <laughs> and they were probably like Hey, can you can you just change up the language here a little bit? <laughs> My boy, is that a vape in your hand after beating lung cancer? Seeing people be cringe is like in my wheelhouse. But it, it's very sensitive to like say people faked it or faking a disorder or cancer or something like that. You know what I mean? But bro, one in the chat if you're like, nah, this kid's faking and it's okay to call him out. Like or two in the chat, if you would be respectfully skeptical. I'm curious. You can be a two. You can be a two. But I'm a one. <laughs> you really 
it can't be a two, okay? I swear. But Bob was a little suspicious. He essentially thought that Trunk's management posted about his death before they were certain, in order to get a little bit of attention. No. This accusation led to Trunks threatening no. to sue Bob, but it was a YouTuber by the name of Jamari who was the first one to go out and say, no, this guy is lying for clout, which started to sway fans' opinions. But it would get worse. Kid Trunks got shot. Shaking my head first this cancer shit, now this bullshit. Put the guns down, man, shit's real out here. Can I get 100K likes? Can I get 100K likes? Can I get 100K? Put the guns down. A lot of fans were still on his side first cancer and now this? Man, he must be really going through it. However, he would be called out yet again. This is literally a lie. He slipped and fell in the airport and busted his chin. I want to help and I tried to help, but at this point I got to separate. I love all my brothers, man, and hopefully everyone can allow to get the help they need. Only so much advice I can give till I give up. I'm not condoning no fried shit. Wait, rappers pretending to get shot for clout? Jesus, 2022 is real. It wasn't Dude, not just rappers pretending to get shot for clout, but pretending to get shot because your supposed best friend got shot and you were jealous of the sympathy he got after his death? Hello? Make better music. He was feeling the pressure. <laughs> a suggestion? He was able to ride on his fans' sympathy for a few months. Then needed to come up with another story to keep them on his side. So he used some old photos of when he busted his chin in the airport to make another headline. Unfortunately, his own friends couldn't get behind this lie. Without their public support, the fans knew something was up, so he tried something else. I watched this video, but it's about to get so much worse, and I forgot. You're gonna have to lay down for this one. <laughs> Trunks posted a number of screenshots on his IG of him talking to various celebrities on FaceTime, hoping to prove that he was really going through it, and Not celebrities Billy. were calling to check in on him. Another Not rapper Billy. I consider my close friend, Trippy Red. Early morning talks be the best. Young Thug always making sure I'm straight. Love you. T.I. Wise words from the wizard himself. Billie Eilish. Love you always and forever. Thanks for the checkup. But fans noticed his hair was different in literally every single FaceTime call. Plus the tattoo on his forehead was missing on the young thug FaceTime. As well as proving this Billie photo was a screenshot from a TikTok. I mean lying about getting shot when your best friend in the music game was shot and killed just a couple of years ago? That's just wrong. Trunks was running out of lies and he was backing himself into a corner. But to all of our surprises, he didn't just fade away or try to move on like it never happened. He addressed the camera and took responsibility for his actions. I'm not trying to blame or make any excuses up for what I did. What I did was very corny. I did not get shot. I had a seizure in the hospital and I had the COVID mask over my face and I was straining myself. They have a, a metal a metal, a metal, metal string in the COVID mask and it popped out and I cut myself in the chin. You know what, I wasn't thinking. I also have a very bad drug addiction. I felt that my career was going down. Like I feel like I wasn't getting as much love as I used to be. I felt that lying about getting shot would work on my behalf, which it didn't. And honestly, that was probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. And yes, I was cloud chasing. I will admit that about the cancer shit. I have a abscess growing in my chest and in the back of my brain that is cancerous. So the one thing I, that I did lie about is having lung cancer. I don't have lung cancer. I have a cancerous- I don't believe that. I think, you know how like when people lie and they own up to like all the little lies and the medium lies, but they're like, let me just, let me just keep one. Sometimes I just let them have it so that I don't have to fight with them anymore. I'm like, yeah, sure. Yeah, abscess, yeah, cancerous abscess in the back of your brain that nobody's freaking out over, okay. The only thing I, I definitely didn't lie about is having two near-death experiences in the last three months. I just lied, I just, I just flipped the story to see if it was gonna work in my benefit, which it didn't. My name is Kid Trunks. I apologize for capping about getting shot. I did not get shot. And as a man, I will admit that I was wrong and really fucked up for that. Because I know a lot of you guys were worried. I love you guys, man. Admitting to going on a lying spree. All right. One in the chat if you're willing to forgive, two in the chat if you will not be forgiving good drunks today. If I knew somebody that did this personally, I would have to be a hard two because this is not only weird behavior, it's drug fueled behavior. And you can apologize for something all day, but I mean, he said himself that, you know, he was going through stages of being on the drugs and then withdrawing and probably panicking and coming up with his next great idea. He's willing to lie and his morals are, this moral compass is, it's not a compass. It's not a, there's no moral map here. There's, I don't even know if there's any morals on the map. This type of person scares the fuck out of me. That I think that's what my barometer is. If your personality type scares me to the point that I can no longer trust you, I, 
I just got to bow out. Respectfully. See you. Deuces. Bye. Peace.